I really like this little Kubota. Uh, it is a fantastic piece of kit. It's really, really responsive. And it should be able to handle pretty much everything we throw at it. I may have been wrong about this. Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Holmokra. Today we are going to be doing some clearing up. Um, I need to go and get the uh, logs we have. Those all need clearing up and taking down to our... Uh, sawmill we want to get these turned into planks uh, while we're down there we're going to do some changes to the way everything is working we're going to automatically well we're going to automatically distribute our planks to the uh, to our uh, drying factory and get that done and then we well I'm still of two minds of whether to try and get something then to transport the planks or whether to automatically sell them that's the that's the stage that i'm i'm really kind of dropping at the moment i don't want to uh, yeah i don't really want to be doing automatic selling it's it costs us money and and doesn't really do anything other than means we avoid that's really weirdly on there uh kind of avoids us taking all the stuff over there but i don't know if it actually saves us uh the money from hiring a truck maybe to do that journey instead or or getting something with a flatbed i think we could sell our flatbed trailer and uh and do that but uh i don't think oh there we go that's gone on there uh, i have decided that we're going to take all of our logs down to the sawmill uh, as i said last time we are doing but we've got a lot of uh we're getting sawdust or, or wood chips sorry out of the sawmill so there's there's not much point in getting a wood chipper up here at the moment uh everything that isn't really of a size that can be used uh that is automatically going to go in as wood chips and be there for us oh, it looks like i haven't cut a log looking at the way that that flicked around then so uh yeah we we're gonna have some sawdust to get in a bit and uh, i want to raise enough money to get a trailer for us to transport that so we uh we need to keep an eye out we've not got a huge amount of sawdust and we'll have a look at that in a bit anyway i keep saying sawdust i mean wood chips we haven't got a huge amount of wood chips so uh yeah we we we're not at a point where we can really uh have that as uh something we need to be doing uh until then i think we're just gonna keep trundling away up here uh somebody said that the 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 tajifun uh i think it's tajifun uh it's shield with chain is something that we might get on here uh simply because as lots of people have said uh it would be a great way to drag the stuff off the mountains so yeah we could then drop off our stump grinder that we got on the back of this and use that on there uh the other thing that i downloaded that got released today i think it was which is uh yesterday as you're watching this video uh, is a uh, sort of a, a log cutter that uh, we'd be able to cut the same length logs with uh, just using a tractor and a three point so uh, i want to have a look at that as well that is possibly a good way to go especially if we get a uh, a lorry or a truck or something that we can transport logs down the mountain that would then give the doits another job to do up here uh, which would be really really good turn the lights on on the tractor because it is quite dark here now one thing we've got is that it's the middle of winter at the moment so i do need to look into the possibility of uh well, we need we need better housing, really. I need to push that on. That is well off the back. Um, but yeah, I think we need some better housing. We're still living in a tent. Uh, it's it's really getting quite cold. 
Um, we're not expecting any snow yet, but I, I think it won't be too long. And, uh, and actually, I've got hold of a mod that I think might do us quite well for that. Oh, let's get that right. And then just slot that on there. That'll do. Um, and that is uh, a trailer. That's a, a nice trailer mod. The other thing that I, I want to start doing is uh, sort of marking out a yard around here. We're looking to sort of turn this area into a yard kind of area. I need to smooth out this up onto the roadway so that we can get out of here easily. And, uh, and all of that good stuff. Let's strap these down. And then start this up. Get the lights going on this. And uh, yeah, we can get our doits headed down to the yard, down to our sawmill and get things sorted down there so we can uh, make things run a little bit more smoothly, I think. Seems the best way to come down this mountain is in second gear. It uh, sort of halts us going down there too fast. Let's get back into forwards. And yeah, and um, works for pretty well. Much less scary going down there uh, at that kind of speed. Um, this Deutz actually, as a tractor for, for carting these logs, is doing us fairly well. Um, it was a, a good little purchase for that. And of course, it's got a, a little bit of age to it. But um, it was, uh, well, it's basically a new tractor when we bought it. Liking it very, very much for the job that we've had you or well, that we have been using it for. Right, let's head over here. I'm gonna go and alter how things are going before we do this. I also want to try something else out today. So let's um, just unlock all of these or take uh, yeah, take that off. So there, 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 and there. Perfect. And if we head over here, I want to have a look in here. So yeah, lots of materials missing in our uh, in our board. We want to set these to distribute and distribute and distribute. So those now will go into the other. We're storing the wood chips at the moment. Um, because, yeah, dry planks, uh, boards two and boards three are the things we're trying to get out. So should be that we automatically get uh, that stuff out the back. And now that those are set to distribute, we can unload our wood, which is perfect. And then we need to go round the other side uh, because, just to clear things up, we're going to need to use this. I'm just, this is this is leased, isn't it? So I think we have a lease on, yeah, both uh, this teller handler, uh, this Schaefer, um, and also on the, on the tool. Wow, we've got both a pallet fork and it. Yeah, so I want to return all of this. I'm going to try something else. So, uh, back no right so let's uh let's get this returned into here tally handler tools uh return that yes okay turn that yes okay and return that yes okay so instead what i want to do is try i think a, the kubota one so i'm going to stick all of the weights on the back of this uh, on this little Kubota skid steer. I think this might handle our stuff a little bit better around here. So we're going to lease that. Yes. And then I want to have a look and see what we've got in these skid steer tools. I don't think that wide one works on it. Uh, if we have a look in here, I think this only does tell uh, tell a handler front loader and three points so yeah it doesn't uh we can't put it on there now the csz pack does have something we could use for that but i'm i'm not going to go that route skid steer tools the best one we've got for this is going to be the paladin pallet fork 
Uh, it's red or grey, so we'll go with the grey and we'll lease that as well. So it hasn't cost me much to lease either of those bits of kit, uh, which is quite nice. 2,000, so about 3,000 to lease all of that. Um, but I really like this little Kubota. Uh, it is a fantastic piece of kit. It's really, really responsive. And it should be able to handle pretty much everything we throw at it. We'll set our forks on it to be really wide. So that, uh, that they should be able to handle this. And because we're distributing, we should only really have to grab off here once. So I think the, the length it can grab is not going to be an issue going forwards. But having said that, I think even then, you know, it can reach this bit as well. Look at that. Straight in. Straight under. Lift it up. Oh, wow. I may have been wrong about this. But it is on the tips. Yeah, it's right on the tips. Come on. Right, and... In. There we go. Come back, back, back. Just get it off there. Oh, there we go. Right. Yeah. I think if uh, if I load it in the right place, we'll be okay. It's just purely that I can't get it all the way under. Bring it backwards. Back it off. Bring it lower. Oh, wow. Maybe this wasn't such a bright idea. Yeah. That is not lifting those. I have to get it right down, and even then, even with the weight on the back, that is too much. Ah, oh, that's such a pity. I was hoping that was going to work. We're going to have to go and use something a little bit bigger. Definitely. Right, so yeah, it's not going to be this little Kubota that we use. As much as I want it to be, I think it's going to have the same trouble when we get to the other side. Let's just uh, let's just go check it with that as well. But no, this is uh, this is looking like a bad choice on my part, which is a pity. I am going to find a use for this though. I really want to use this little thing, but I think the moment I put it under this here, it's going to be too heavy for that as well. Yeah, look at that. Right, so. That is one failed experiment that's cost us a bit of money. Let's go try number two. So same problems there as we had with the uh, with the, the Schaefer here. Now, the Schaefer, that was 130. Um, I think we want to take something that's... Hmm. No, I think the one we got was actually this one. The... Um the uh 56,000 now i wonder if the fair sin will fare any better or whether we're gonna have to grab something a little bit more expensive for this or can we how much would this be to lease five thousand uh it would cost us a thousand per day but to have this jcb on here would be really good okay we're gonna lease this jcb Look at me, spending money like water, trying to solve this stuff down here. And yes, we could solve this just by uh, not, uh, just by direct selling. Now, can I put it in JCB Yellow? Yes, I can. Tell the handler. Cool. Let's lease that. Yes. But we do need to stack these up either way at the moment. Right. Let's try this instead. So I don't change the number plates on items I lease. Uh, I do uh, do number plates on items I purchase. Um, and as I've said before, uh, the way we're going to move forward in all of our series now is that any new item I purchase, uh, I will put the random name, or as best as I can fit it anyway, uh, the random name of one of my patrons uh, who is at the producer level um, on 
on it so that's where we're going to be going in future underneath up and yeah even this now i know there's a weight i can get for the back of these but even this is uh you can see the weight at the front is quite heavy for this so uh, i'm quite happy with that we're gonna end up with quite a load of these here and once i've got a decent amount uh, a decent number what we'll do is we're gonna hire a lorry uh, a truck with a fairly big flatbed uh, either a fixed flatbed or one that is uh, one that is actually uh, loaded uh uh, you know a um an articulated lorry uh depending on how much i think we need to fit and uh, and then we're going to go and drive this over and hopefully pay for this uh telehandler along with paying for our full uh paying for the use of our truck as well and if it's something we're using occasionally and, uh, and only using to transport stuff uh then it should be pretty good uh, for that but we need to do this uh, preferably before we run out of money now how much is each of these worth do we have another one dropped no not yet so let's take a look uh where are our different planks there we go dry boards one uh best price for them is july so in fact we're hitting rock bottom at the moment in fact, yes, all of them we're looking to have a sell-off in July, uh, where we're looking at hitting 1,650 for all of those. Uh, there's not a huge amount of difference in price. So, yeah, we want, we want to hit it about July. We are currently in December. The price is still on the way down. And, yeah, we are at 1,382. So we're going to have quite a stack of boards by the time we get here so let's drop that off there and i'm gonna go and take my tractor back up the mountain um, because we still have some of our wood to get back down here and start getting it processed definitely getting a hang of the best gears to be in going up and down this mountain so medium fourth is the best gear for me to come up the mountain it gets me up at about five miles five six miles an hour uh it does speed up a little bit on the flats but we've got these these bits that are fairly tough and uh yeah fairly steep which it, it does well at and uh don't get me wrong it it, it can pull pretty well but it does mean that we need to drop down and just give ourselves a little more oomph to get up these bits without too much hassle. And on the way down, uh, high to uh, does the opposite effect. Actually slows us down enough so that we don't go careening off with a full load of wood on the back. And, uh, and end up doing some jackknifing. Alright, so back up at our camp. Yeah, we do need to sort something out about getting that um getting a, a a dedicated way into our area into what is going to be our logging camp well it kind of already is i mean we've got our we've got our tent here and we, we've got uh all of this uh we don't need this trailer on the back of here anymore i don't think uh i think it would work as a logging trailer but we don't have a yeah a rear hitch on this and we do have a rear hitch on this, but I don't think I'd like to hook this trailer up to that one. I don't think that would quite work. Right. So, uh, I have some more wood to load up. We're going to get that loaded up. And uh, and then we'll get it down to the sawmill. Uh, and hopefully by then we might have some more stuff to unload with our JCB. Uh, it should work quite well for us. Uh, the rest of this though okay so here's an interesting thing we've got a great demand at the selling station for dry boards so what is the price and which one is the oh, there it is so that's our great demand that is oh wow dry boards two 
that is well well above the normal price so this is going to force our hand a little bit i think uh, i'm going to get the rest of this then loaded up and uh, i think we might have to borrow a little bit of money and uh, get the rest of this all sold uh well get uh, some of those dry board twos sold if i can work out which of them or which of our dry boards we've got down there are actually that type of board because that is going to be the tricky bit the last of the logs i had kicking about a lot of this stuff has been sort of bits we could pick up by hand there only really been a couple of logs that were uh, heavy enough to have to use the tractor for don't think we've got anything else left around here we are gonna have to come back up here and do some uh, some general clearing up but i think in general that has got everything yeah there we go so uh, let's turn all the lights off on this and park it up like that those are all strapped down uh, we could use that flatbed i think to uh to transfer some boards with this tractor i think we might want to get that down there that wouldn't cost us anything um but that would definitely get us some money in so with this down here can i drop off this and then we'll see where we are with the dry boards too. Uh, see how many there are sitting over here. Right, and deliver that. There we go. Right, what have we got over this way? Which of these are dry boards too? Can we tell? So those are dry boards too. Those are threes, ones, ones ones okay uh that is a three that is a two that is a two and those three so we've got a couple of threes at the front here that need moving out of the way i think there's quite a lot of uh of stuff in these boards actually can we pick up two pallets at a time oh i think this probably won't work Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No, the JCB can handle it. Yeah, definitely worth having this kicking around. Then that is moving uh, quite a bit at once. So those are both dry boards. Three. This over here, I think, is a dry board too. So I think we only have three pallets. So doing that trailer with the tractor will probably work. So is this a dry boards two? That is a dry boards two. That is a three. And the rest of these are ones. Okay. Whereas the two over there are also twos. So three uh, sets of boards. Uh, I'm going to go and grab the landy. Get that down here. Uh, and then we'll load that up. And we'll use the doits to get these delivered. Now it being December. The, uh, the nights are closing in quite a bit. Uh, but the landy has got our trailer down here right let's disconnect this i had to touch the yeah there we go right and then move that out of the way i still think this is useful i still think it's useful having the landy about um we just need to find out exactly what that use is uh let's drop this off like so and then we can go and hook the doits up it's not going to be quite as fast we might get over there at uh, a, a fairly decent speed um but i do need we do need to take advantage of this if we're not taking advantage of a great demand like this uh then um yeah we're gonna fail we're not gonna do so well right lift this board up back us off and so yeah a truck eventually is how i want to deliver all this but uh for now i think our trailer is gonna be about right so back off 
about. Get off my... Ah. Oh. Sometimes the forks do this. There we go. Just need to detach them and reattach them and it's fine. We discovered last time this trailer is just shorter than our plank uh, boxes. But that's okay. We'll put a second one on the near side here. And then the last one will go on top. Last pallet on top. I've got this a little bit skew whiff on our forks. But I should be okay. Like so. Oh, this trailer is not overly happy with this much on here. Yeah, this is very much not the final setup I want for this. Let's try and uh, strap this down as much as we can. And time to head over to the sell point. The great demand is in the only place that uh, selling stuff is, which is the far side of the map. So... Selling station drive boards yet. Yeah. Uh, not sure. I don't think we can go any quick way. I don't think that road is accessible. If that was accessible around there, uh, that might be a little bit quicker. But I have a feeling that's off the edge and uh, is a closed road. Uh, we'll give it a quick try, though, because obviously uh, that would be something that you guys would like to know. But uh, I feel like we're going to be stopped from driving this way. Yeah, look, road closed up ahead. So, yeah, we can't go that way. It is the long way around we're going to go. So, uh, the long way around we're going to go. Tractor is struggling on this hill a little bit. I was planning to say, uh, come back and say something on the effect of... Uh, one fairly uneventful trip around the map later. But yeah, we are having to move gears around a little bit, trying to get up this hill. I'm not surprised the landy struggled. Uh, I do have a low range version of the landy that I need to try out that somebody sent me over. They they modified it so that it would, uh, it would do this. Let's drop into the medium gears and see if we can get a little more pull off this. Just to see if the landy would. Uh, apparently, there's a little bit of a slippage issue with the low range setup. So, uh, I do want to give that a try. At the moment, though, we are going with this Deutz. And it is still going. And we just need to get it to the crest of this hill. We are also getting to the... Well, we're getting fairly dark. It is December and uh, it is a pretty uh, early sunset. I think it's going to be dark by the time we get up there. There we go. Oh, and we still have to go around. This, uh, this map is such a long way between the cell points. Finally, we've made it to the cell point. And I think that actually, the amount of time it takes... For us to get up to here uh, is a pretty good argument for just direct selling it. A few people have suggested that in the comments before. Let me know what you think. I, I'm I'm very much erring uh, or erring towards that. Um, and if that's the case, what we'll do is we'll just put it straight on to sell next time. So let's unstrap these. Oh, it has all done. Uh, 9,027. That is a lot of effort for that. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure this flatbed is really needed. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, but that does seem to be a lot of effort until we get a big lorry, uh, or a big truck and can deliver this ourselves a lot at once. Uh, I, I think that this, this may be a little bit of a fool's errand each time. For now, though, we're going to leave this here. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I I will see you next time. Goodbye.